Okay, guys, let's talk about buyers. So where do we find buyers? Yeah, so let's be real specific. Number one, buyers are everywhere. That is true. But purposeful finding buyers are? Open. So the first question is how do we find them? The biggest one is open house. Yep. New builds. Thank you. New construction. Vendors. Vendors. What? For sale by owners have a bunch of buyers. So Fizbo's. Okay. Database. Database. How about rentals? You guys have access in the MLS to search for all homes that were rented last year. Their leases are about to be up, are they not? So in the MLS, you find renters. Then you can start a lease campaign to everybody who rented last year, especially if you're renting a house that's 2000 a month, you know they're not gonna stay a renter forever. They were just there for a year. So send them a handwritten note, send them a, create a marketing campaign. Okay, how about apartments? Mm -hmm. Now most apartments, you can't solicit in apartments, mm -hmm. but you can do the mail out. You can do a drip campaign through the mail to just this apartment complex that's at a certain price point and you choose to farm that apartment building. Now, if you can, if you if you live in an apartment complex, then it's your job to go to the pool, to go to the mixers, to go to the happy hours, to be around the neighborhood. Or if you have friends who live in apartments, you say, "Dude, next time you have an event, you can invite me. We gotta come over and crash a party, okay? Because I need to go around and you need to promote me and pass out cards." So all of us have friends who live in apartments. You just have to make them aware on how to get you business, okay? Then you can have your first time home buyer programs. You can have your zero down payment programs. You can have credit repair programs. You can market yourself in that way. Anywhere else you think we find buyers? Because those are pretty good. Trish, can you think of anything? No? Those are the good ones. Right? Those are the solid ones. Okay. So how do we... Oh, wait a minute. Listings. Your listings brings you buyers. Hello? Yep. Great source of buyers. Good job. Okay, so how do we contact them? Mm. Well, it depends on the buyer, depends on the situation. The most important part of contacting any potential buyer is going to be you start with an eight by eight touch campaign. That's how you contact them, which will include emails, phone calls, handwritten notes, follow up. This is all in command, so you're going to put them on an 8x8 eight eight touch, which means 8 touches in 8 weeks. So every week, you're going to follow up and send something. Then they turn into your 33 touch. Starts with 8x8, eight eight, so they see you, they recognize you, they know you, and then you turn into 33 because some buyers, they're not ready yet. They gotta save money, they gotta fix credit, they've got to pay taxes, they've got to finish their lease, they've got to do different stuff, right? So the most important part is the touch on the them. Three, three, it's three touches. So 33 touch. Oh, so, 30, so remember 30. that one piece of paper, the 33 touch campaign, okay? And so, that one is how many touches? 33 touches? 33 touches in one year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you always use no, so the 33 touch, if you look at in, in our experience one, yeah, I true. broke it down into the different types of touches. And mm -hmm. all of this, again, this is a crash course. Mm -hmm. When you get into the coaching program, everything will be expanded. Assignments will be done, accountability. You'll be consistently working on all this, which you can't work on it all in one week. Mm -hmm. But the basic you have, because by tomorrow, you'll feel confident in your basics, okay? So what, what do we ask them? What do we say? Ask and say, okay? This is called the consultation. You have your consultation sheet from experience 
number three, and you work the pain and pleasure. Buyers need pain and pleasure. They need to know how to get off the fence, how to move them forward. They have to understand the process. You have to educate them. You have to give them the tools and the resources. So that's what you say and that's what you ask and that's how you work them. And then what do you offer them? You offer them representation. You offer them information. Service. And your professional service. How do you close the buyer? You sign the buyer's rep agreement. You stay on top of them with the houses, with the information. You build rapport, you build a connection. And you do a really great job at your service marketing sheet of all those things that you do as a buyer's agent. Okay, and then what do you bring them? Well, with buyers, you, you're really not bringing anything except information. That's what you bring them. You need to bring them titles, lenders, um, uh, different types of credit repairs, uh, different types of loan programs. Um, you're bringing them contract to close information. You're, you're just education. So what you bring them is your knowledge so they can be well-educated and be able to purchase a home.